Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. I'm so very glad you could join me today. Now I have to ask, I have to ask, have you seen the newest Christmas craft range from Kmart? <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Now, this is my year to use what I have in my stash, and I have been, but everything in this Kmart range is so pretty, and the colours are absolutely my choice. Traditional reds and the greens and the gold, the white, the silver, but they're almost, they're softer, they're almost dusky. Now, for Christmas, our lounge room is always done in the traditional colours, the red, the gold, the green. But the rest of the house is usually something a little more on trend just because I like to mix it up. And again, the colours in the Kmart Christmas on trend range this year, oh boy, they're like I chose them myself. The dusky plums, the pinks, hint of winter white and rose gold, those soft um, sage greens, the gum leaf greens, just beautiful. Now, if those themes don't make you smile, they also have a really gorgeous, bright theme. And if we had younger children in the house, I would be going the brights, the primary colours, the, the reds, the bold blues, the yellows, just for fun, because they're really, really gorgeous. Now, you'll be proud of me. I've restrained myself, um, especially with craft supplies. But I did give in and buy two tubes of washi tape. Here they are. Just gorgeous. You can never have too much washi. I have rolls and rolls and rolls of it. Hannah does too. One is the more traditional. The other is from what they call their timeless range. Now, each pack holds 10 rolls of this really pretty washi tape and they're $4 each. So that's just 40 cents a roll. I love washi tape and I love working with washi tape because there is so much you can do with it. And it's, well, it's an inexpensive way to decorate or embellish or even create something new perfect for crafting and it's easy even kids can use it little kids can use it now within in this range there's um dsp designer series paper or printed papers and ephemera to match but i have restrained myself because i have been very good at not buying more craft supplies this year and it's so close to the end of the year even though these this particular range is so so pretty and my mind went crazy with ideas, I've restrained myself. But today we're going to use the washi tape to, well, to make gift tags, just like these ones. How cute are they? Little washi Christmas trees. They are so, so pretty and really easy and quick to make. And even little kids, kindergarten age kids, can make these. Now, I've made them in a Christmas tree shape. But you could use any shape you like. A bauble would be cute. Or a star. Or a square. And you could do it like a present. I just fell in love with these little trees when I saw them on Facebook. And then I searched Pinterest for more ideas on how to use them. There's a lot out there. So this is my version of the washi tape um, Christmas tree gift tags. I've simplified what was already a really simple gift tag. Be warned though, they are very addictive to make. Once you get started, you do not want to stop. So... Let's get down. I'll drop you down and we will start crafting. Just give me a second and I'll find what I'm doing here, folks. 
here we go. Let's see if this works. Cool. Okie dokie. Now, washi tape, washi tape. Christmas trees. Christmas trees, there we go. So, so easy. I started with uh, rectangles of craft card because that's what I had. You could use white card stock. You could cut up the backs of cereal boxes or um, cardboard cake, cake mix packets if you have them or whatever to get your card stock for your gift tags. You don't have to go out and buy anything. And there's no special tools required for this. Now, I made them 15 centimetres, 15 centimetres by 8 centimetres the rectangles and then I'll show you exactly what I did I used my paper trimmer so you can see it's 15 by 7 uh, by 8 sorry then all I did was to get the triangle that I wanted I slid it across to four because I want the halfway mark at the top and I just used the scorer to put a little mark. Can you see that little mark? Is it going to show up? It's there anyway. You could use a pencil to mark where you have to go. You don't have this. Here's a pencil. Then because I have the scorer, the, uh, sorry, the paper trimmer out, line it up line it up and I simply move my cutting blade up now if you are starting on a corner you're using a paper trimmer and you're starting on a corner always move your blade up to the middle of the section you want to cut it doesn't catch the corners that way and then I spin it around and drop it down move it up And it moved just a little bit. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. You can keep those to do something else with if you want to. But there's our triangle. Now, on the back, because it's brown, I just cut another piece in white to write on. Just because it's easier to see. You don't have to do that. It's perfectly optional. But if you do... You need to cut your triangle a little bit smaller and so this piece measures 14 centimeters by seven centimeters and you do exactly the same thing half of seven is three and a half find the three and a half mark and the short side mark it and then slice Again, line it up, pop it in, make sure, oh, no, it moved. Didn't hold on to it tight enough. There we go. And slice. Swing it around and do the same thing. Just keeping your lined up, move it up. Slice. And you'll see that fit nicely on the back with just a neat little border around it your triangle needs to be you can have it exactly the same size or you need to cut it smaller okay then all we do take the washi tape i'm going to use this one i like these pretty colors and i cheated of course I tipped it all out and that's how I layered it up now to get the rows straight I'm using the grid lines on my cutting mat simple peel off the washing where is it just soak it look at this oh, kangaroos it's Australian now the first row Make it a little bit bigger because it's going to hold it in place. Just make sure you line it up carefully along the bottom edge. 
go a little bit bigger washi tears so easily and then make sure it's straight put that on the line just line it up push those bits down so that holds your template in place next row now I'm just doing it in the order they came out of the container same deal to keep it straight I'm lining it up on the lines on my cutting mat push it down look at this pretty one there's cockatoos and kookaburras can't get much more Australian than cockatoos and kookaburras can you that just helps make it straight now this one has words on it so I'm going to waste a little bit. I know, I'm sorry. Now, I don't want to chop the bird's heads off. So I'm going to very carefully line up not only my words in the center of the tag, but very, there's just a really small overlap on this side along there. Not quite a big one. You do want to overlap it. So that it sticks. All right, now we come parcels. Parcels. Okay, this one's really pretty. Look at it. So so pretty. Then we're on to the back up to the lines and using the grid lines. Now I'm varying them, making them all different. You could do patterns if you wanted to. You could do all different coloured dots, all different coloured stripes. You could do um, mix them up with the same coloured stripes and dots and alternate them, whatever you like. Here we go, dots, polka dots. He doesn't want polka dots. And again, I don't want to chop off too much of Santa, so I'm just going to very carefully, and the good thing with washi is you can actually see through it, so you don't need to. Yeah. This top bit, I might finish up with this a piece of this blue. Because then I can use the gold for the very tip to represent the star. And we just go like so. Get over. There we go. Now, I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure it's actually stuck well down on the card. And I'm going down because it's overlapping from the top and I don't want to lift any of the card. Now, carefully lift. Turn it over. Get your trusty scissors and trim. So, so easy. See what I mean when I said it was so, so easy even Preschoolers could do this. Even preschoolers could do it. Their little preschool kitty scissors would cut washi tank. Now, you can get washi anywhere. $2 shops, craft shops. You'll pay more for it, obviously, at a craft shop. But there we go. Okay. Get rid of the scrap. didn't get my little pin out but never mind that won't matter okay now there it is how cute is that see it's really pretty we'll do the back now I've cut the back here it is here it's gonna fit on right there like that so I'm going to stamp it next. 
Now, I'm going to use my stamping platform for a couple of reasons. The stamp I chose needs to go you need to go over it a couple of times with this stamp you just do and because it's a clear stamp you need a little cushioning to get a really good image you can use um, a dense foam type of um, pad i've got a piece and i don't have it here of yellow foam that I normally stamp on but because this stamp needs to go needs a couple of goes and you'll see what I mean I'm just going to ink it up and I'm going to use red this time push it down so that's why I'm using my stamping platform because it needs a few goes and I want to be able to you see you can't see very well Did not stamp very crisply. Let me move it down. Give it a push. Uh, it's not too bad, but it could be better. Using the stamping platform means that it will always stamp in the same place, no matter how many times I go over it which is ah, that's much, much better. One more, I think, because the merry is a bit. Give that a bit of a go. Perfect. I am happy with that. Let me just get my shoe. Clean my stamp with. Always clean my stamp straight away simply because they stain and red stains anyway. And I will close that ink pad up straight away too. Okay, now where did I put it? I put it right there. We are going to glue it. You can use whatever it is if you like. You've got tape runner, you've got double-sided tape. I'm using um, art glitter glue because it is my absolute favourite liquid glue. Absolutely love it. You need very, very little for it to stick. And now we're going to line that up so that you can sort of see equal borders all around. See, and liquid glue gives you just a little bit of time to do some sugling if you need to. That's it. Now, hole punch has gone missing. Oh, goodness me. If you don't have a hole punch, use a pokey tool. Make sure when you're punching your hole for your ribbon to do it in that bit there. Don't do it too close to the point or it might tear. Then all you do is to and from. You've already got your Merry Christmas on it. That's a stamp that came. I've had it for years and years and years. It was... Um, one of the freebies of a magazine years and years and years ago for a stamping magazine and i've been using it for i don't know eight years seven years something like that a long long time that's it that's how easy it is to do they are so so cute you can do them any different way you like that one's all pinks that, Use the bolder colours, use plain colours, just do plain washi in the primary colours, whatever. But they are so, so easy. I absolutely fell in love with them and I have made lots of them. 
since they did because they're really simple to do. They don't take a lot of um, materials. You do not need special equipment. You can do your triangle with a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Washi tape is a pair of scissors. You don't need to, oh, I haven't stamped the back of that one. You don't need to stamp the back if you don't want to, or if you don't have a stamp, you can just write on it. And they are done. They are so, so easy to do. They're different. Nobody wants run of the mill. We all like to have our things nice, present nice gifts. And we want to do them so that they are a little bit unique. There we go, pop that washi back in there. Put the lid on. I was really, really thrilled with them when I saw them on um, it was Facebook. I saw them, and then I did some searching on Pinterest and found all different variations on them. Mine don't have a stem on it simply because a stalk, a trunk that's what trees have trunks simply because, and I could have cut a little trunk out. I figured. For a gift tag that's going to be flopping around, that little tiny piece there might just look gaggy and get torn and ripped. So I didn't bother with it. I like them the way they are. But they are really, really simple. I will put the cutting measurements in the box below me. And I hope you enjoy making them. I have had an absolute ball with them and now I'm moving on to <laughs> different shapes for different occasions throughout the year. All done with washi tapes, a great way to use up washi. Is, you know, so with all our craft supplies there is absolutely no point having it if we're not going to use it. Okay, so now, where am I? I've lost my clicker doobie. We'll um, say, if I can go back up here, there we go, back again. I will say thank you so much for watching. If you've watched so far, watched me all the way through, really, really pleased that you did. Before I go, there are three things you could do for me. Like this video, click that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because that really helps our channel and click the share button if you know someone that might like to know about Cheapskates Club or who might like this idea of using washi tape to make gift tags, click that share button. All it does is send them the link to the video. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back very, very soon with another Cheapskates Club video. Until then, happy cheapskating, everyone.